Alright guys, I'm here with the SUI SL7. Uh, gonna do a quick preview of the device. When I first got the device, it was running Android 2.1. The firmware was the first batch for this device, so it was a little slow. It lagged on touch, different things like that. I found a on SlateJord.com, I finally found a forum that teaches you how to flash a rooted ROM. And it had a ROM from a WOPAD that a guy updated it and put a permanent root into that ROM. And the WOPAD is pretty much exactly like the SULI. And he tells you how to flash the device. And I flashed it with that ROM. And I tell you how to do that in another video of mine. And, you know, the device worked great. The touch was awesome. Uh, didn't lag, everything was great, had full access to Android Market, that's one of the issues with these devices, like you, they don't have full access to Android Market, but it had full access, and plus uh, with it rooted, you know, you could install more apps and do different things with it, but uh, if you want to remember, uh, know how to actually flash a device, just uh, search my, uh, click on my little name on the YouTube thing, you can see my other videos, and you can watch the other one at the beginning. It'll show you how to actually flash the device. And you can try that one out for your CLI, see if you like it, see if you know how to flash the device, and, or WOPAD. It also, the link will also tell you other devices that uh, work with it. It's pretty much any Rock Chip 2818, Model TR718D or C, pretty much any one of those will work for, with these ROMs because they're just made for these devices. Um, right now with the SUI, I have flashed my device again with a Froyo, Froyo custom ROM, which Froyo is Android 2.2. Um, as you can see, I am running 2.2. This ROM is still in the development stages. It still has a few bugs, but um, it's a lot better when it, he, than it first started. He's fixed a lot of things for us. Um, one thing... Go ahead and say it now. As you can see, I'm trying to unlock the device. It won't unlock. That's it's just a little bug. All you do is put it back to sleep and opens right up. Um, as you can see, the touch is almost instant. No lag. You, ha I have full market. I use App Planet to. Um, but the device works great. It's permanently rooted. Um, one thing people can't do with their SUI ISL7, and this seems to be the big thing. Let's see if I can figure out what it is. Angry Birds. With the SUI ISL7, you cannot play Angry Birds. Nothing would work. With this rooted ROM, you can play Angry Birds. You have to turn off the background animation because if you don't, it, it lags a little bit. But uh, right now, it it runs just a hair slow than like a regular device would run, be running it. But it does work. I'm trying to show you. Zoom out. I mean, it works great. Like I said, it's just a little slow. But it works. That's the main thing. Alright, so this is a... This is another WOPAD ROM that's uh, just been upgraded to 2.2 and just they've been working uh, Lionheart did this ROM he's been working hard along with a few other guys they've been uh, working hard on making this ROM perfect like I said there are some bugs in it and they know there's some bugs in it and they're working as hard as they can to get all these bugs fixed but the device still works great you, of course you got everything just like normal step it since it's running the 2.2 it is better it is a little bit more responsive you do have the whole where it switches for the accelerometer
do it every single way you want it, which is nice. Alright, so it's the same you just do the same thing you did in the other video. If you don't know, watch the other video. It'll tell you how to flash a rooted ROM. You gotta have the RK tools. And in that has the RK Android batch upgrade along with the driver. If you don't have it installed the driver. When you install the driver for these devices, um, just watch the other video, but all you do is hold the turn the power off the device then hold the escape button while plugging it into your computer and then uh, manually install the driver for your whatever windows you're running XP, Vista, Windows 7, whatever you're running um, install the specific one for your computer and then your device should work great again watch the other video because it better explains exactly what to do and then the link, I'll post this up, but SlateDroid.com will pad for you custom ROM. He just released the latest version, which is 0.6.1, March 8, 2011. Um, there's still a few things at the beginning of the thread. Uh, mark it won't work at first. You have to do this. You have to do right here what Lafo said to do. And uh, you can get a market working, works fine. Um, but if you read this whole thread, especially on like page 16, page 1, it'll tell you what to do on some things, like when you connect it to your computer. But all you do, go to this link and right here, he has the link. Click on it install the link, then open up after you connected your device to the computer, pressing ex holding escape. Um, your bottom right hand corner of your computer screen should say RK2818. Open up RK Android Batch Upgrade. Of course it should be green again. Then next to image, just put in next to the image thing right there, put the open up that file that you just downloaded and then boot version date should all fill in and then click upgrade and your device should flash and then it should reboot itself and there you go that's all you gotta do I mean just follow this this link and what this thread says it's it's pretty simple but it is if you have never flashed the device definitely watch the other video first um, and it tells you what to do exactly and I kind of just said it out loud just so people actually know but you know I'm a noob I have no clue what I'm doing I, I mean I, I'm good with Windows but Android I, I'm not sure exactly all the Android stuff so I'm just letting you know that if I can do it anybody can do it it's really easy and just don't be afraid um, like I said if your device in the other video if your device won't power on when you just push the power button. Hold the power button down for a little bit and the screen will like flicker white and then let off and then push the power button normally and your device should boot up. If not, plug it into DC a few times. It'll come on. Um, don't think you bricked your tablet. It, it is a little scary. I thought I'd bricked my tablet, but it, it didn't brick my tablet. It actually worked great. But um, like I said, there's a few bugs with this ROM. So if you don't want to download it just because there are some bugs in it, download the ROM on the other video that I uh, showed. It's only 2.1, but it's uh, a perfect way running 2.1. So it just depends on you what you want. Do you want 2.1? Do you want 2.2? It just totally depends. If you really don't care, then I would go with the 2.1 for right now until the 2.2 has been fixed. But if you have any questions, just go check out these the links. I'll post the links on these video each video. Um, go there and read the threads, and it'll tell you. People have questions just like normal people. Uh, it'll tell you what to do. If you have any other questions, anything like that, please just let me know and just ask. Thanks.